Ghana's ambitious $21.5 billion railway project, set to change the face of the country. Countries all over the world recognize the importance of an effective rail network. Ghana is well aware of its intrinsic worth. Railroads have the ability to improve transportation, income, infrastructure, development, productivity, and trade in a favorable way. A well-functioning network can aid intercontinental and international trade, with far-reaching macroeconomic repercussions. Ghana's government believes that investing in railway infrastructure will accelerate the country's economic development. Ghana uses a lot of petroleum per person because 96% of its transportation is by road. Trains can reduce the cost of transportation for both people and cargo. Lowering the cost of goods, trains may help to reduce poverty by connecting communities, integrating the labor force and products markets, and providing individuals with extra opportunities. Railway lines will lower transportation costs for many manufacturing companies, allowing them to profit from export markets. Welcome to Thinkrich Media, the community which brings to you entrepreneurial, business and personal development content to inform, motivate and inspire you. We also want to introduce you to our special African development playlist because we strongly believe entrepreneurship, rather than global pity, is the key to Africa's growth and development. So if you're African and you aren't subscribed to our community, you're missing out. Construction on Ghana's first railway line began in 1898, during the country's British colonial administration. In 1901, the line between Tarqua, a gold mining town, and Sekondi on the coast opened and two years later, it was extended north from Tarqua to Kumasi, the Ashanti region's capital. When the country gained independence in 1957, it inherited a working railway system. It had a nearly 1,000-kilometer rail network at the time, but only approximately a sixth of it is still operational now. Mishaps and slow speeds are frequent because the system began to deteriorate in the mid-1970s due to bad management, a lack of maintenance, plus competition from roadways. In recent decades, the existing 1,067-kilometer gauge colonial era network has suffered from underinvestment and neglect falling from a peak of 947 km in 1957 to less than 10% of that figure. And even that 10% was hardly working, Gardy explains. The last time a train ran from Kumasi to Accra on the eastern route was in 2001. It was 2004 on the western line. Post-independence government's decades of neglect have brought the sector to its knees. The cost of restoring Ghana's railway network to normal operation is high. The Master Plan The Ghanaian government announced a railway master plan in December 2013, outlining six stages of development. The restoration of the existing narrow-gauge network and the development of additional standard gauge lines to link all regional capitals and eventually connect Ghana with its neighbors, Cote d'Ivoire, Burkina Faso, and Togo, were among the goals. At a cost of 23 billion US dollars, this would add more than 4,000 kilometers of track to the network. The strategy has been endorsed by each administration since its inception. President Nana Akufo Addo established the Ghana Rail Authority in 2017 by disbanding the Ministry of Transport's railway related components. The Ghana Railway Development Authority, GRDA, and the Ghana Railway Company Limited, GRCL, the owner of rail infrastructure and operator of railway routes, respectively, are the two implementing agencies of the newly constituted Ministry of Railway Development. The Ghana Railway Development Authority inked an agreement in July 2017 with the Russian railway company Geoservice to develop a 947-kilometer line from Accra to Paga, as well as additional routes on a build-operate transfer basis. A plan to connect QMSE to the north, financed by a China Exim Bank financing, was also revealed in July 2018. The economic link with the rest of Africa will be opened up by this central spine. 
In November 2018, Ghana secured a $3 billion deal with South Africa for the iconic Accra Sky Train project. We consider such a project to be a wonderful example of intra-Africa cooperation aimed at African development by Africans. Connecting Kumasi and Paga, among the Ministry of Railways Development's other projects, will be a huge accomplishment, greatly cutting travel time and limiting urban migration. However, $70.7 .7 million will be spent, and rightfully so, on compensating people whose properties will be affected. Progress From July 2016 through July 2020, the first phase of the plan entailed completing prioritized projects over a four-year period. The 99-kilometer Tema, Akasambo, and Packet in line connecting Accra and the port of Tema has been rehabilitated, and the Rui reopened in January with a passenger service for 600 persons. The line also connects the area's free zones to the seaport, with some facilities built particularly to take use of the city's railway connection. The takorati tarkwa railway line is currently under construction. The line is critical for freight transportation, particularly in the mining and agriculture industries. For use on new lines, Ghana's Ministry of Railways has bought 35 standard gauge locomotives, as well as coaches and freight wagons. In a deal signed on June 23, a consortium of Chinese businesses led by Dongfeng Electrical would supply the new equipment in collaboration with CRRC Dalian and the CRRC Kekahar Rolling Stock Company QRRS. The first two locomotives are expected to arrive in June 2021, followed by another seven before the end of the year. The final 26 locomotives will be delivered over the next 18 months on a flexible schedule. The order is part of a larger effort to revitalize the country's rail infrastructure that began in 2018. It includes the modernization of existing narrow-gauge railways as well as the construction of several new standard-gauge railways. According to Ghana's Minister of Railway Development, Mr. Joe Gardi, the 2.2 billion US dollars, 340 kilometer Tema, Accra, Kafaradua, Humasi Eastern Rail Line, which was approved last year, is currently 60% complete. The government and a consortium of PhiloDB and Transtec Consult, a Ghanaian engineering consultancy business, signed a memorandum of understanding on June 17 for the building, operation and maintenance of parts of the Western Rail between Huni Valley and Abubasi and Dunkwa and Awaso. The collaboration will modernize the railway, assuming care of renovations, operations and maintenance, providing telecommunication services, as well as training the local people under the terms of the deal so as to ensure the continued operation of the line following the project's completion. Financing Sources The government has not made all of the major investments in Ghana's railway system. Private sector initiatives, such as the installation of the first domestic plant for the production of concrete railway sleepers, rather than wooden sleepers, indicate that private businesses are positioning themselves to benefit from the railway boom. International interest in rail investment in the country has also been strong. They have held conversations, for example, with steelmaker ArcelorMittal about acquiring the right to extract iron ore at Cheney for a price comparable to the cost of creating a rail link between the mine and the coast for shipping the ore. According to Dombo, Ghana's railway lines have historically been engines of progress, and the transportation industry would continue to be critical for future development. Ghana's government has unveiled plans for three rail projects worth a total of 12.9 billion US dollars as the country seeks private investment to help it reach its development goals. The projects are part of the West African country's larger infrastructure development plans, which will help it meet the Sustainable Development Goals SDGs, of the United Nations, UN, and the African Union Agenda 2063. The projects were featured in an investment brochure created by the government for the UN 2021 SDG Investment Fair, along with 13 other projects, in order to generate interest among investors and attract private finance to accomplish the SDG and improve Ghana's quality of life. 
The first project is the building of a light rail transit LRT network in QMSC, Ghana's second largest city, which is a converging point of commercial activity and a vital transportation hub. It's now in the feasibility stage. According to the administration, the city's economic growth and fast urbanization have resulted in traffic congestion, which has stifled growth. The 5.8 billion US dollars project will begin in 2025 and will be developed as a public-private partnership PPP, with debt accounting for 70% of the funding and equity accounting for 30%. The project will be carried out under a 30-year concession with a net present value NTV, of 404 million US dollar, making it a financially sound investment with rate of return of 15.6% FER and a benefit cost ratio BCR of 1.12. The funding brochure also includes 14 early-stage projects, such as the trans House Railway, which is at the pre-feasibility stage. The projected 550-kilometer east-west mixed traffic line will stretch from Aflao, Togo, to Alubo, Cote d'Ivoire, with a branch line to Quetta. According to the government, the project will provide great socioeconomic benefits to Ghana. Through a private-public cooperation, the project is anticipated to begin in 2022 and be finished by 2025. The private sector is viewed as an important partner in achieving infrastructure development goals. Annual infrastructure investment will need to reach 9.3 billion US dollars by 2030 to help achieve the SDG. By 2040, Ghana's overall infrastructure spending will have to reach 96 billion US dollars. Thank you for watching. If there are any tips you think should be on this list but is not, leave a comment let us know. Help our channel grow. We hope this video has been helpful to you. Support us by liking the video, subscribing and turning on your notification.